Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I'm sitting next to my window where so many hummingbirds come and feed all year, all day, 24 seven, almost, they actually do sleep. Today I wanna to talk about training your hummingbirds to come to your feeders, how you can get them to continue to come back and how you can get them to stop. So let's turn around and look at my feeders and I'll explain to you the best way to train your hummingbirds so they know you have food for them. So here we're sitting in my kitchen window. Yes, that is my kitchen window. And this is where the hummingbirds come and feed. They can sit out in the trees that are down there. They can go into my regular garden, which is right over there. They can get water and anything they want, including flowers, and then they can come back and feed here, which they do starting at the crack of dawn just until the sun sets. Now, here is the thing that you want to train them. No matter what type of feeder, I have ice cream containers, I have dots, these little dots, your regular hummingbird feeders, you need to let them know that no matter what, see there's the hummingbird feeders out there, the ones I make. You need to have them trained to know that when they see a feeder, that these feeders have food. That's the main thing you've got to train them. Now, the big thing that I really haven't talked about a lot is empty hummingbird feeders. If you leave feeders out empty for too long, eventually they're not going to come back. They'll find feeders that people are leaving out that are always full, or at least when they check them, they're full. So really what you want to do is train them so when they see feeders hanging, that they know that means food. It's very much like training a dog. You want to train your dog to come when you want it to come and sit when you want it to sit. Well, if you left feeders out, let's say they're empty and you leave them out for, I'm going to say a couple days, they're going to use all their energy to come and check the feeders. But if they continue to come and find empty feeders, then they're going to start to think, well, as they fly by the ones that are in your area, Oh, well, those feeders, we know them. There's nothing in those feeders. And that's what you want them to not learn. You want them to learn and you want to train them that when the feeders are out, they have food. It doesn't have to be full. I've got a feeder back there that's got very little food in it, but there is still food in it. And they know when they see feeders here that it means food. Look, I'm guilty of having feeders run empty too. I mean, I've got hundreds and thousands of hummingbirds that feed all day here and feeders do run out. But the main thing is when you get a chance, take the time to go check them. Take the time to see if they're empty. And if they're so close to being empty, I would pull them in. Now, I would not leave feeders out for more than three days when it comes to sugar because it can grow some mold on it. So you would take them in and wash them and then refill them. Here, I actually do fill my feeders to the top. I have to. You know, one of these feeders, these average feeders, they empty them in a matter of two to three hours. So I don't have to worry about leaving days. There's nothing that around here that gets left for days. But if you've only got a couple hummingbirds, one or two or three or four, don't fill them. Make your hummingbird food, which is a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar mixed with one cup of water, and then store most of it, once you have it all mixed up and it's dissolved, in the refrigerator. Just put a small amount in your feeder and put it out there. In three days, if they haven't finished it, then go ahead and change them out. But if they finish it, kind of keep an eye on it, or it's getting really close, take them down, bring them in, wash them up. I just wash them with hot water and I use a tiny bit of dish soap with a toothbrush and scrub it really good. You can also use your own. You can make some dish soap mixed with alcohol, keep it in a little bottle and then wash them. The main thing is rinse it real good. What you want to do is wash their feeders as you would wash your own dish. And I'm hoping you would rinse it real good and then you will be good to go. But that's what you want these birds to know. You want them to know when they're flying by, that when they see a feeder, they know that these feeders have food and food is very important to them because they burn a lot of calories all day. They burn a lot of energy just because of the way they fly and they, the way they beat their wings and how fast they move. And 
everywhere they go. See, he knows that dot's got food. Every bird learns to feed differently. Some prefer dots, some prefer hummingbird feeders, some prefer my ice cream containers. Whatever way they want to feed, you want to make sure that your feeders are full of food. Make it fresh because you know what? If it goes bad, but what's going to happen is they'll taste it and they'll go, oh, this food's no good. It's like going to a restaurant. Their food's no good. Are you going to go back? They're not going to go back. So you want to make sure they know that you've got the best restaurant in town. Mm -hmm. And if you've got the best restaurant in town with plenty of seating, they are going to come to you. But you really need probably one feeder with food in it, and then you will be able to enjoy all the hummingbirds in your neighborhood because when they find out your feeders mean business, your feeders have food, they're gonna come to you. So the big thing is, again, remember that check your feeders. If they're empty, take them in. It'd be good if you had two. If you're only putting one feeder out, have two. So when you can check it and see that it's running low or almost empty or is empty, make a fresh one and swap it. This way they're not coming by and finding nothing there. They're going to know and you're going to train them that when they see a feeder that on your property, on your yard, out your window, wherever you're putting it, that feeder is going to have precious food for them that they so desperately need. And you will be able to enjoy their company and you will be able to help them out with food. They know that no matter how many feeders are out the window, they've got food in them. And food is very important to them. So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. If you had a box of candy and you kept opening it up and it was empty, how many times would you go buy this box of candy? That's what I'm trying to say. That's the same thing with the feeders. Think about it that way. You're going to open this up a few times and eventually when you see this box of candy, you're going to say, nope. There's nothing in it. I'm not even going to bother picking it up or opening it. Well, that's why you don't want to leave feeders empty.